Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for Yo Yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. Today we're doing Halloween Double Decker Fudge. This one's really quick and really easy, and I found it in this magazine, Taste of Home Halloween Food and Fun. This is from a few years ago, and you'll probably recognize the cupcakes on the front of that cover. There were some great ideas in that magazine. So starting off with an 8 by 8 inch baking dish, you're going to line the baking dish with aluminum foil, and then you're going to grease the foil with butter or margarine or with a little bit of cooking spray. And then in a medium sized bowl, you're going to place two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Of course, you can use whatever kind of chocolate you want for this, as long as it equals about 12 ounces of chocolate. And then you're going to add some sweetened condensed milk. You're going to need a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk to make this recipe. However, if you live in Canada, or at least in my part of Ontario, sweetened condensed milk only comes in 10 ounce cans, which is 300 milliliters. So I will put a modified recipe in the description box as well for those people that have to deal with that size of sweetened condensed milk can. So basically you have to add one cup of sweetened condensed milk from that can and then put the rest of the sweetened condensed milk aside and we'll use that a little bit later. Then you're going to put this bowl in the microwave and microwave it on high for one minute. Take it out, give it a stir. If the chocolate chips aren't completely melted, put it back in the microwave for 15 second intervals, stirring in between, and keep doing that until all the chocolate chips are melted. It took about a minute and 30 seconds in my microwave to melt the chocolate chips. It doesn't take very long at all. And just give it a really good stir until you get a nice, smooth, chocolatey fudge. Then you're going to need 8 ounces, or 1 and 1 third cups, of white candy melts or candy melting wafers. You could also use white chocolate for this as well. And if you're curious about where to buy these candy melts, I will put a little bit of information in the description box if you're interested. Then you're gonna add the rest of that sweetened condensed milk that was in the can that you didn't use. It's about a half a cup or so. Put that in there and then microwave that just like we did with the brown chocolate until it's melted. I'm adding one quarter teaspoon of orange extract and then a little bit of orange paste to food color and you could use liquid coloring as well in this doesn't matter stir that around until it's well combined then spread the chocolate layer in the bottom of the pan that's already been prepared spread it around till it's nice and even and then you're going to pour on the orange flavored layer and orange colored layer you'll notice a little white kind of it kind of looks a little chunky I find that the Wilton white candy melts don't melt very easily at all. It's strange, but different colors of candy melts have a tendency to melt differently. I prefer the Merkins brand, and that's the kind that's available at my local bulk food store, the Bulk Barn. So if you have a choice, get the Merkins if you're looking for smooth, melting white. Put this in the refrigerator. Let it chill completely. It takes about an hour or so. Take it out by using the foil. That's why we put it in foil because it's so easy to get out of the pan. Then peel the foil back and then using a large knife you're just going to cut it into squares. Make them fairly small, an inch by an inch let's say, because it's very very sweet. It is fudge after all. Now I suggest that in between cuts you take a wet clean cloth and wipe off the blade of the knife so that you get some nice clean cuts. You'll notice the little bit of chocolate on the top of the fudge that's because the knife wasn't clean and it has a tendency to make them look messy. I stored this fudge in a plastic container with a tight fitting lid. I put it in between layers of waxed paper to keep it from sticking together and I stored it in the refrigerator. Not because it needs to be refrigerated really, it's just that I find that it gets kind of soft at room temperature and I prefer the texture when it's been refrigerated. This is delicious, it's super easy, the easiest fudge really you'll ever make because there's no boiling on the stove no stove required at all and you don't need a candy thermometer. The bottom layer is super chocolatey and that top orange layer has just a very subtle orange flavor to it and the whole thing is very good and it has some great colors for Halloween so why don't you give it a try.